Hello guys and welcome to another video. Today I want to show you a couple of things that I made in the bars. After I uh, removed the overclock at 4 GHz, I decided to leave the processor at stock speed. Uh, stock speed pardon. The reason for that is uh, it's generating a lot of heat and uh, since my cooling, uh, the vents uh, inside the computer just started to make uh, weird noises and the power supply is not stable enough, I decided to drop down the overclock. There is another problem, uh, when you go, you see, I'm going to show you, uh, in here, you can set the frequency of the processor, okay? So, if we disable that, uh, everything goes stuck. 2.8 gigahertz, and will turbo boost to 3.4 gigahertz, as normally it should be. Uh, the motherboard, it seems to have other problem, I'm not sure, uh, uh, what exactly, but I assume there is a problem with the BIOS chips. Uh, there need to be uh, rewrite the proper BIOS and uh, erased and then rewrite the proper BIOS. Uh, normally, if we go to the uh, advanced CPU fe uh, core features right here, you'll see that the Turbo Boost Edge is enabled, the CPU core enabled, and after that, we see all the features that it has the processor the C3, C6. Everything is auto, in, including the EST function. Normally, when uh, your computer doesn't turbo boost, if you disable the CPU EST, EEST, pardon, if you disable it, normally it should go to the turbo boost, like I said before. But uh, in my case, it doesn't do these kind of things. So, all I have to do is just uh, leave everything here on auto and move to the other settings right here. So I, all you have to do is just uh, set the QPI to 36. You can also leave it uh, on auto because it will have the same frequency. Uh, the QPI link speed to 4.1 GHz. But I choose to use it manually and the base clock to 165. Of course, the memory, uh, you need to drop the multiplier uh, set for the memory, right here. Uh, if I go any higher than 8, uh, it will overclock the memory. But in my, uh, the Corsair a the XMS3, uh, it doesn't seem to to accept the overclock properly. Uh, I have tested many times on different motherboards, these kind of modules, and uh, it doesn't seem to be overclocked at all. So it just, uh, we, it all the time will give me the blue screen of death and it's best to leave it the stock frequency. You can also modify the at the frequency, uh, you can uh, modify the timings and that's all, unfortunately, yeah. So we have set right here in this area the 3.4 gigahertz and after that you'll see that in Windows uh, it will uh, drop to 1.4 gigahertz and after that will go up to 3.4 gigahertz. That means that you can also use the turbo uh, the turbo core feature, the turbo boost, pardon, Tur turbo boost edge, of course, and of course, uh, it's not going to be any problem. So your processor will be go to the 1.4 or 2.8, and after that, you just uh, will uh, will go to the turbo boost at 3.46 gigahertz. It's a little higher, but I think it will handle no problem. Okay, uh, I'm going to show you the what I did here. Uh, all you have to do is just a standard for the per uh, performance in haste, don't leave it in turbo, turbo mode, and here you want the expert, you have to... And right here I have set, instead of 99924, I have set to timings 88820. And the same thing goes for the other slots, for the, of the memory. Of course it's 2x2 two two and 4x4 uh, four, uh, four uh, four, four gigabytes uh, by 2. And we have a clean 12 gigabytes of RAM, like I said. Okay, now if we go into the BIOS, uh, if you go into the Windows, uh, it will show you more uh, 3.6, but it's not 3.6 normally. Uh, this kind of things it happens uh, sometimes. The motherboard or the BIOS chips, uh, after you updating, or probably if the uh, BIOS update is not made correctly from the DOS 
or the for from the Q flash uh, because the this motherboard has a feature and not just board just any uh, in general the the gigabyte it has the Q flash utility that you can use from directly from the BIOS. But this is a fix for me because uh, I just want to keep it stock for now and uh, maybe when I'm not gaming uh, I can use that 3.4 gigahertz instead of 4 gigahertz it will uh, it will consume a lot of power if you're using it uh, daily use for 4 gigahertz so I recommend that uh, when you're not doing the very successful things uh, you can leave it on uh, stock and if you do have uh, this kind of problems like I have right, right here as you can see the processor 1.4 and after that it just go to 3.6 of course it's not 3.6 clean because it's 3.4 gigahertz like uh, shown in the BIOS but this is how the how the computers uh, right now is working fine so there is no problem yeah um, what else should I tell you um, oh, about the performance test uh, the, the performance that I showed you um, let's make another test right here And we're gonna go to the continue and we go for the test for the processor run all CPU tests uh, it will take some time because uh, when uh, he needs a little time to discover the parts uh, on the computer and after that we can go for the let's go for the CPU fan of the CPU started to become louder because it's trying to compensate to the and it's trying to, to keep the CPU cool down while running all these uh, stressful tests CPU single threaded I think it's it's the final test that is running right now is the latest And our performance is uh, 5,919. Of course, it's very poor compared to the other processor uh, from uh, from the chart right here. Uh, as you can see right here, we have the the processor. Uh, yeah, the frequency is not correctly specified right here but as you can see that 2.8 and uh, is very close to the uh, i7 uh, 2630 QM uh, running at uh, 2 GHz that it has the 6241 and uh, we're not better than the uh, Core i5 4690 running at 2.3 GHz and also the EFX 8370 8 core uh, is having this core 9000 5059 yeah and um, we are just better than the uh, Core i3 uh, 4160 running at 2.6 GHz it has uh, 5047 compared to our score that is 5919 and the best of all it just will be the Core i7 6700K that is running at 4 GHz it has the score at 11,795 so this will give you the uh, an idea how the uh, 1156 platform will hold up in this kind of synthetic tests and uh, yeah. So 
right now we have the processor that is running properly uh, just uh, 2.6 and then drop to 1.4 which is good because it just uh, gives uh, the power consumption for uh, for the course of the go for the uh, speed of the processor will drop uh, considerably uh, so yeah anyway So this is the fix for what I said before. Uh, thank you for watching once again and see you in the other videos.